It's always the stick's fault. Samurai never blames the sword. Hey, I'm Mitch Marner. Hey, I'm William Nylander. I'm Morgan Riley. Hi, I'm Austin Matthews, and I'm gonna call some of my teammates out. Teammate that makes the best wedding guest. I saw the videos of uh, his wedding, so I think he'd be pretty fun. I saw his dance moves at his, <laughs> at his wedding. Yeah? He's pretty good on the dance floor. Yeah, 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 and uh, congrats to him again. Me and Justin Hall are the best wedding people you can ever have at your wedding. I think uh, pretty standard for our, our boy, Mitch Marner. Mitchell Marner. He's just always, he's always moving and grooving. It shirts off before anyone gets speaking, for dancing on the dance floor before our, like music's even starting. We're bringing the energy for your wedding. Yeah, he embraces the NHL wedding tarps off play. We did a couple weddings this year that people were like, why do you have your tarps off? And, I mean, that, we thought it was just a regular thing, but I guess not. Yeah, I am. I am that guy. Yeah, I know Mitch would, but like, to me, that's not like someone you need to have at your wedding, because like, you'll find someone else to do that. Anyone can do that. Gee. What's his dance move? Uh, that I can't tell you. You're going to have to see it later. <laughs> Beauty. Bert, for sure. He's all time. One of my favorite human beings. Bert brings stuff that not everyone else has. I might go Matt and Eyes again on this one. Kind of a stiff body, maybe not like the best body type for dancing, but maybe it'd loosen up a bit <laughs> after a few. <laughs> I'm gonna put myself there. Nice. I, do, I usually lead the charge on the dance floor. Got some decent moves. Send the invites. Right. Teammate most likely to start a podcast. This one, I might have to keep a couple of these faces around here. That's Revo. 100%. Revo. Ryan Reeves. Loves talking, loves uh, being in the spotlight. I'm guessing I was on this one a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go with Ryan Reeves. Seems like he likes talking into the camera a little bit. Very smart, intelligent guy, and he's got some good stories, and he likes to talk. I'll say Revo. Interesting guy, likes to chat. A lot of people say I should be in TV, I don't know. I'm not a stats guy, I don't want to learn a bunch of stats, but. We don't need stats anymore. Yeah. I, I could, yeah, I could just talk I'm gonna go with Mitch after that interview at the golf tournament. He was pretty good up there. Could you guys be co-hosts? I think we could, yeah. We can, I think we can bounce some good ideas off each other. Me and Revo? Yeah. We probably would, it'd be good energy. Would it be a hockey podcast? No, I hope not. Like maybe like <laughs> Call of Duty or something, show that we're not just hockey players. We can kind of talk about it all, so I don't know. Maybe it would just be uh, like general entertainment. I think like entertainment and cult culture. A Revo podcast. <laughs> you looking to co-host? Maybe a guest appearance here in there. I'd say probably Tibber. Wow. He's got a, got a big mouth. I think he could talk a lot. TJ? If you know him, I think uh, then you'd understand why. I think I'm gonna go G on this one. A little old guy, you know, so it will be interesting to listen to him, yeah? Veteran Italian player, I think he's just like, yeah, he could say some funny things. Yeah, yeah, he'd have some good stories. Teammate who always flexes their stick after a missed chance. This is kind of mean to people almost. Teammate who always flexes their stick after a missed chance. <laughs> I feel like that's just everybody. I'm gonna go domes. You know what, he actually doesn't shoot much. He needs to shoot more, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go Tim Lilligren. In my mind, the way he shoots, like I can envision the like whip of his stick and it just coming off kind of weird and just him giving like a, maybe a little flex or something. <laughs> Say Willie, maybe? I don't know, I don't hope that's not too mean, but yeah. It's gotta be these two, I find. These two gotta be getting picked for this all the time, no? Go with our guy, Gio. I don't know, I might have to go with Gio for this one. Gio's a good one too, yeah. Gio's definitely top notch in that too. I feel like if he misses a chance, he's blaming something else other than himself, so. It's always the stick's fault. Samurai never blames the sword. So. <laughs> a lesson for Gio. I'm going Timmer. I don't know if I've seen him do it, but I, I've seen him do it in practice, so. What's the goalie equivalent of that? Probably like look at my glove like there's something wrong with it. Or like, <laughs> yeah, like it was the glove's fault I didn't catch it or something. <laughs> Timmy who probably got Taylor Swift tickets in Toronto. Who's a Swifty in here? I feel like guys would pick me, but. He went to, I think, four concerts this summer, I heard, so it would be most likely him. Do you have a favorite this summer? Someone said you went to like four or something? Uh, I saw Nickelback and uh, they were phenomenal. Nickelback yeah. was great. Yeah, I saw them at Boots. I did not get Taylor Swift tickets though. So. Uh, no, I'm not gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna go Matt and Eyes. <laughs> no particular reason, I could just see it. <laughs> I could see him at the Taylor Swift, you know, belting it out and having a great time, yeah. I would go, I would definitely go. I know Austin's Bieber. I think he's a Swifty too though. It's just not 
true. <laughs> and he's using the, the celebrity up there. He probably knows her. Uh, him and Bieber probably hung out with her a few times. I'm going, I'm going to Austin. I'm going to have to go with him on this one um, for obvious reasons. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I don't know for sure, but he's heavy tickets for sure. Yeah. I'm going to go back with Martin. It's just he's always going to concerts. I'm going to have to go to this concert because I've heard really good things, but I also think this guy is definitely, definitely going possibly as well. And, if, and I'll be forcing him to come with me too. Me. I don't have him yet, but I did see her once already, and I will be going back if it's if it's uh, if the schedule works out. I called him after. He said it was amazing. So me and Mo will be going to that. The start of the concert's the best part. When she, it's all her like old hits, and that's like when I was listening to her music more was like high school. So I don't know it was pretty good. I put my cell phone there, but not as cool. So Mo's already been, but I'm sure he'd go again. Are you trying to get him? Hmm. Are you trying to get tickets? Yeah, you got some? He seems connected in the city, so he would tell you maybe you got a ticket, but uh, he seems like an undercover Swifty. We'll be at that show for sure. Timmy most likely to dress as Ryan Gosling or Ken for Halloween. Timmy, I think the hair. All right, I'm gonna go double answer. I'll hold him up. I'm gonna go Mo or Mitch. Maybe like Ryan Gosling, Ken type of thing. He's more Barbie than, than Mo, I would say. <laughs> Go Nisey. You know, as a young guy, you expect him to be, you know, prepared for these type of uh, events. So he's a good-looking guy. Hopefully, he can pull something off for us. I'll go with Joseph Wall here. I think he's got the look, the stature, tall guy. Do you think he's going with the big white coat and the, and the glasses, or what? I don't know, to be honest. I, I think that's also I'm being mean, picking people for these. So <laughs> I think he's just gonna yell the least at me. I did not, no. I saw Oppenheimer instead. Oh, <laughs> it's more my, so more my speed. Are you going to go as Oppenheimer then? <laughs> I would love, that's a, that'd be a cool costume. Yeah, i take that over Ken for sure. She may most likely to work at TSN after their career. I'm going to go with Domes. He needs to put his teeth in though. I don't think he would, but I'm going to pick Domes because like, you know, he grew up in this market. He's got no problem talking to cameras or anything. He's very personal, so. I think he probably won't work at TSM, but I think he'd do a great job if he did. I think it's, it's gotta be a rebel. I'm sure he's pretty tight with Biz, so I think it's gonna be, yeah, face for it too, so. He wants nice. to fight it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Morgan Riley, he's great. He'll be positive with the players. He's got great banter too, I feel like. He does, yeah, he's undercover. I think uh, one of the funnier guys, uh, not a lot of people know that, but when you get to know Mo, he's, he's hilarious. With Mark Giordano. Yeah, love CP24. <laughs> Teammate who cares the most about fresh gloves. Oh, Austin has, uh, has a good rotation of gloves going. He's got a bunch on the bench and he's not a, he, he's not a fan of wet gloves, so he's, he's often switching those around, but it seems to work just fine, so. Yeah, I think it's Austin. 34 is you know, very particular about his gear, likes trying different things and making sure a lot of stuff is fresh, so. Um, pick him for his gloves, and rightfully so. Uh, I'd want him to be feeling as fresh as possible. You were chosen for that. Yeah, that's gonna be me, I think. Uh, could chuck Willie in there too. Maybe we can do a little double. What do you think is the most amount of times you've ever changed him in a period? Uh, like every TV timeout, so two, sometimes more though, three, four times maybe, but yeah, I like him nice and dry. What about it? Like, is it just they feel heavy or just gross? No, I just like them when they're dry. I don't know, when they're super, you know, like, wet and stuff from just sweating and the ice and snow and stuff when it gets on you. I just don't feel like I can grip the stick the way I want. So, yeah, I like them nice and dry. Is it the most of any guy you played with? Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe Ovi. Ovechkin. He's doing a lot of too. <laughs> fresh, fresh gloves all the time, yeah. After every shift, probably. Yeah, you like yeah. your gear, like, wet or dry? I like it dry. Dry? Mm-hmm. I've heard some goalies like will like spray their equipment before. Yeah, like, but you know like if it's your gloves and blockers too wet a little bit, sometimes the glove is too hers for the time you stop the puck. Oh. It's really hers, yeah. Teammate that's ripped through the most dress pants. Oh, we don't have one for Doan, but Doan I heard ripped his pants yesterday. Oh, really? On, on, yeah, golfing, so I wish I'd put his face on here. If you guys could edit his face on here, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Maybe Rebo, big guy. I think maybe uh, 
veteran too, so I've been around quite a bit. I've ripped up a couple of my uh, my dress bands, but I think he's uh, kind of leading the charge there. You got to think there was some good candidates this year from the dance floors at the weddings. I can't think of anybody who did. Maybe that's why Mitch was changing so much. I actually did rip through my dress pants at Tyler Bozak's wedding. Teammate that's ripped through the most dress pants. I don't know if you guys saw that picture online of uh, us golfing the other day, but Domes has got some junk back there, and uh, I think he'd probably rip through a couple of pairs of pants. I'll go with Morgan Riley. I've seen it happen. He's a thick boy. I think maybe these two are probably the lead role. Wear their pants tight, got, you know, big legs. <laughs> Teammate most likely to win an Olympic gold medal. That's a loaded question if I ever saw one. Yeah, there's a lot of layers to it. <laughs> Well, I know someone who has an Olympic gold medal, not to be, uh, <laughs> not to be uh, cocky about it. Anyone on Team USA, for sure. I'll go with, uh, go with Austin there. Got to go with Tone here, for the US of A, of course. I'll go Tony on this one, because I'm American. I'd love to see the US win uh, a gold medal here. You want to pick Austin, but you, you know that means the Americans win, yeah. and that's not, I, I can't do that. Like Mitch Marner, young Canadian. I was thinking of going Swede, but can't do it. It's got to be Canadian, so that's that's a big thing. So I probably should go with my boy 16 again. Don't really want to pick him, but being Canadian, you gotta you gotta stay strong with that. So. So who's gonna be playing on Team Canada? I mean, Mo can make that team. I mean, obviously, Mitchie will be on that. So let's say Mitch and Mo. Love it. Gotta stick with Canada. God. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Teammate with the nicest watch on the team. I don't know. I'll go Willie because he likes his style. He's, he's into that. Willie Nylander, great style on him. He's got good style. And you know, he's, he's out there on the scene, so I'm sure, he's, I'm sure he's up there somewhere. I'm gonna have to double down again and go with Morgan Riley. He's probably like the mo like avid watch kind of guy, so he's got some nice watches. I'm gonna go with John. I feel like John, just a classy guy, is gonna have a real nice watch for himself. So. Teammate that would claim to be six feet, but they're not. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably also maybe. No, but I'm like, I like joke about it, and I know I'm not, but I don't know who else it would be, so I'll just throw my name in there again. Between Mitch and Tim. So since Mitch probably got called out on this one, I'm gonna say Tim. I always just get like the 5, 11 and a half or something and I'm like, just put it six feet. Teammate most likely to talk about their zodiac sign. I'm gonna go with Broads on this one. No clue if that's true, but it just seems like he might be into that. I might go Timmer on this one. <laughs> I feel like Connor Timmons maybe could bring it up. I could see him talking about his zodiac, maybe why he's feeling a little off on a certain <laughs> Tuesday or something. <laughs> the moon's not right or... I was gonna say Davey, but I'm gonna go Johnny boy. Probably not, but I think it'd be funny to hear him talk about it. What's your sign? <laughs> Libra? 